don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? This is the big K Cop 360 here. And a few days ago, there was a leak about AMD's upcoming Zen uh, APUs or CPUs. And in particular, there was this little slide or this little, um, it's like a snapshot of a slideshow of a PowerPoint showing that AMD in 2016 will be coming up with a 16 core, repeat, 16 core Zen APU. Now, to give you guys a bit of backstory uh, about sometime last year or even maybe a few years before that, uh, AMD said, look, um, we know Bulldozer wasn't the best of things, we know it wasn't the best architecture, it wasn't the best way to create our CPUs, APUs or whatever. So in 2016, we will be, we will be coming out with a new architecture, we will be coming out with Zen, it's gonna, it's gonna bring us back to the high performance market. It's pretty much Intel's way of uh, competing again with Intel in, you know, the enthusiast market or the high performance uh, CPU market, if you get what I mean. Because as you guys know, the last fucking like I guess decently high end CPU AMD made was the FX 8350 but getting back to the point we've got this slideshow and it's of course an x86 based CPU and uh, look 16 cores is a fucking lot of cores now a lot of people are saying you know what if it's 4 CPU cores 12 graphics cores now I don't think that's the case here at all I think this is the slideshow even here says 16 Zen cores and 32 threads so that just confirms that they are using you know Intel's way of multi-threading or the other way of multi-threading instead of doing what fucking AMD was doing with the the modules and the fucking cores and the shared cache and all that shit but let's let's get into the specs let's fucking quickly get into it so apparently it's supposed to have up to 16 cores 500 I'm I'm reading straight off by the way because I'm not an expert at this shit so just chill uh 512 kilobytes of L2 cache per core, totaling up to 8 megabytes of L2 cache, that's quite a lot, and then we've got fucking 32 megs of L3 cache, holy fucking shit, and to, to just put this all together, it's going to be combined with Greenland graphics, or Greenland AMD graphics, integrated graphics, Radeon graphics, whatever, which will support up to 16 gigabytes of HBM memory at 512 gigabit a second. Uh, is that gigabit or gigabyte? I'm not 100% sure. I believe speed is in giga. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> 512, I'm pretty sure it's gigabit a second. I can't confirm. But, getting back to the point, that's fucking nuts. I mean, that's, that is a lot of fucking graphics power right there. Especially when we're talking about HBM. The, one of the main reasons that um, integrated graphics is being held back, especially on, uh, you know, AMD's end, because AMD, let's be honest, they make the best integrated graphics out of both them and Intel. The, the, one of the main things holding them back is, uh, memory bandwidth, and with fucking HBM, with stacked memory, with fucking massive bandwidth, it's just gonna be less of a problem, so, yeah, getting back to the point, um, it's supposed to have PCI Express Gen 3 support, uh, 4 channel DDR4 support, up to 3200 megahertz, um, so dim, you dim, dim, all the fucking different types of memory you can put into it. I don't need to go into that. It's just fucking just, it's assumed, I guess. And, um, yeah, so it's interesting that it's got PCI Express Gen 3 support instead of Gen 4. Because I guess by then, Intel probably would have Gen 4 support with Skylake, I believe. If Skylake is the fucking next, um, you know, generation of CPUs they bring it out. I'm not 100% sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But I believe Skylake is Intel's next big launch. And even that, just... Uh, it's It really is going to be interesting. I mean, this new 16-core Zen APU, though, if this is legit, if we fucking have a 16-core Zen APU, 32 threads, this beautiful graphics power, man, this could really change the game. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, that this is all, like, up to. This is, like, the maximum. This is kind of like the Big Daddy. It's kind of like the GTX Titan, if you get what I mean. Like, it's, I guess, this is the biggest you can get out of AMD. Maybe this is just a server version, and maybe there's an 8-core consumer version or a 6-core consumer version or whatever. But fucking, I don't know, man. And you, we don't even know about pricing or any of that shit. I mean, this, it's just nuts. It's nuts. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Um, 2016 is going to be a big fucking year. I mean, 2015 has gone real quick. It's the 14th of April already. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're close to halfway through the year, man. And I, I remember when I first made a video about, you know, Zen and all that, I was thinking, fuck, that's so far away. It really is not. So yeah, anyway, guys, that was pretty much it. I mean, 
I can't really say much because this is all leaked rumors. This is all leaked slides and shit. Uh, this is courtesy of Fudzilla, by the way. So I'll put a link in the description. I'll probably put the fucking slide somewhere in the video. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below what you think about this. Is this a server chip? Will this, you know, obviously stroll or stream down to the consumers? Because this thing is going to be fucking sick. If this is legit, man, fucking sick. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And the Big K will see you later.